Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Divide and Conquer as the High Elves. Alright, we are now at war with Isengard. Did an amphibious assault over here at Baylorn. <laughs> Came out of there relatively unscathed. Unfortunately, I had to auto resolve the fight going into here because I couldn't even get to the battle map for some reason because of some kind of buggery. But we only lost 40 guys, so we're in pretty damn good shape yet. I am going to take advantage of the training opportunities and upgrading we got here. So I'm going to stay here for another two turns or so, and I'm going to push this force out. There are some Isengard troops running around out here, but I'm not too much concerned about them just yet. So well, Apparently, Isengard owns all this territory over here. All right, speaking of that, let's move our spy down here, and let's take a look at things. On this end, and I think they own all of Rohan's territory too. Last I knew, they were the biggest faction on the map. So we're gonna play hell trying to deal with these guys. I do have uh, Elrond getting an army together up here at Austin Edel. One good thing is the uh, Dwarves of Khazad-dûm are now pushing into Dunland, so that's a little bit of a thorn out of our side we don't have to worry about anymore. So I'm gonna build this army up, and I'm gonna come straight down here and see if we can attack down this way too into Isengard. Let's keep all these troops moving down this way. And let's see, I'm still training these troops back here. Let's get all these guys repaired. And then I can push all these guys out. And up here, I'm still going to leave this army up here at Mount Graham. I do have Glorfindel up here at Latash. If I need to do anything with uh, these uh, Angmar troops running around over here, I'll pull this whole army out with Glorfindel and see if we can finish them off. But right now, it just looks like they're just holding off the dwarves. Dwarves appear to be playing hell. But one good thing, though, that uh, that, that uh, Doomstack that was running around before me. is still running around up here, so up. they're not coming down toward Latash or anything like that. So we'll let the uh, dwarves handle this mess for now. All right, let's bring this spy over here, too, so we can watch these routes. And I have Elodin over here. I think I'm going to move his whole army back to him. I'm going to end up sending it down south into Isengard territory. Let's see if I can pull some of these guys out of here. Yeah, let's get them guys too. We don't need all these troops back here. All right, now Austin Edel is getting ready to upgrade. And as soon as I get that upgrade done, all I need to build next is the uh, up the uh, uh, blacksmith chain. So we need to build this leather worker, and I think the blacksmith is right after that, and we should be able to recruit those uh, high-speed troops that are out of that place. All right, let's see how are we doing elsewhere here. I got a bit of money I can spend, and it's probably best spent up this way here. Let's see what we can build over here. We are at 65%, so we're looking pretty damn good here. We can get some Omniar troops here, and we can maybe get a Noldor barracks over here too. But to be honest, I'm thinking we need to start getting some money-making stuff again. Yeah, farms over here would be really nice. We're at 26 percent. Hmm. Just for the hell of it, let's take a quick look. I I think we're we have built all roads everywhere where, where we can. Let's come back out here to the west. Can we get roads out this way? Yes, we can actually. Let's buy them. And these guys over here all have roads except for under towers, and these guys up here. All right, I'm bringing these troops down here. I'm going to start consolidating some of these guys over here. Build up another army later on. We can send them guys south. All right, we got roads and stuff built over here. All right, crop rotation for five turns over there. We can probably get shipwrights and merchants' wharfs over here too. And merchants' wharfs over here as well. Alright, let's see, before we mess with that, though, let's come back over here. Yeah, let's focus on these places that we've been neglecting out this way. Let's go ahead and get Knockfall Raglaw built up a little bit. Alright, yeah, I'm thinking communal farms out here first thing. Yep, let's go ahead and build them. Alright, this stuff I don't really need. Artist Studio we could probably use. We're only at 39%. But let's build it anyways. We might end up needing it. That's going to eat up a good portion of our money. We're still in the profits. Should have over 8,300 in the coffers. All right. Um, market would actually be nice. You know what? Let's go ahead and build that thing. All right. That's going to eat up. But we're going to still have over seven grand. 
All right, let's take a quick look at our agents. Your orders. He's going to hang out up here. Without question. See if we can get a yes, mission from Lord. them. He's going to hang out up there. Maybe we can get a mission. He moved. All right, he is going to stay there. My Lord. He's going to stay there. My Lord. And I guess I'm going to leave him there just in case something goes south up there. I got another My spy Lord. up there. And he is going to stay there. Yeah, I wouldn't mind another spy down here, actually. Yeah, he's coming down there. Um, let's leave the spy here until I see for sure that uh, Casa Doom is actually going to hold on to this place. Because there's probably going to be a hell of a lot of fighting over here. Let's just stay there and watch what's happening. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. Airbores besiege. All right. Isengard still got troops running around over here, but nothing too much of a threat. Eating into it, just over 6,800 in the coffers. A bunch of repairs done. And a lot of retraining finished. Because of doom and... Oh, Isengard's going at him now. Hmm. Alright. It's going to be some crazy fights going on. Let's run this spy down this way now and see if there's anything coming up from this direction. Doesn't look like it. All right, we are still blockading this port, and what was the mission? Yeah, we got to hold it for two turns for 1250. That will work. All right, let's come back over here. My lord. Mm, let's just take a quick look over here. Yeah, Isengard owns all this. All right, let's keep this spy over on this side. I think we're going to need him over here. Tomorrow's journey planned out. All right, let's keep these guys getting together here. And let's just link all these guys up right there. And I believe these guys are finished now, aren't they? Yep. Let's grab everybody out of there. Swiftly. Let's get them all down here and build up some armies. Be vigilant. All right, I can probably move these guys out of here. If I pull them out, they're gonna be all right. Yeah. Let's keep them all moving. Swiftly. And then these guys will follow them on later on, and we can get a nice big army built here. Might be able to pull them to, yeah, you know what? There's no threat over here for the moment. We're all surrounded by friendlies over here, so let's get everybody we can. Alright, this army here. Let's keep these guys moving to M. Ladris. This army here, I might pull out and go up here, because it looks like the dwarves are playing hell. Trying to get into this place, and maybe we can help out a little bit somewhere. Now the thing is, can I pull this general out though without them going nuts? Probably not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for this place to stabilize, I think. Let's leave him there for now. And I'll use this army later on to start attacking. Alright, this general over here, can I pull him out of there now? If I lower taxes. Yeah, put him on low. Yeah, I can probably use this general to take care of Latash now. We must give up He's a we, one of my weaker generals. Yeah, we'll just use him to uh, manage that place over there. Alright, pull everything we can out of all these territories over here. Let's come back out here. Yeah, I got quite a few generals hanging out over here making us some money too. If I need to, I can always pull these guys into the fray too. Let's get these guys over here. Yeah, we can still do a lot of recruiting and stuff as well. Let's come back over here, and let's keep building up infrastructure. All right, how are we set over here? We're at 67%, so we're looking really good. But I want to get yeah, something that'll make us money. Let's get some crop rotation here. And all those guys are still building. All right, can we do anything over here that might bring in some cash? Public baths, Hall of Culture might be useful. Catapult Maker, Artist Studios, we don't really need that stuff. Uh, don't really need that stuff either. A non Ederod. Yeah, not needing that. These guys are still building. Alright, and Tier to Ween. No Lord Guard Hall here. How are we set up? Yeah, we're at 83%. You know what? Let's go ahead and build that thing. We can draw some troops from there too so we can flood these guys to the south. Alright, the rest of this money I'm going to hold on to. And 
let's take a look at our agents. He's hanging. Yes, he's hanging. He's moving. Alright, he's gonna stay there. My lord. He's staying there. He's staying there. My lord. And he's moving. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. Alright, eating into it. Just over 3,900 in the coffers. Alright, blockade mission is a success. We got 1250. Artist studios built up and some training done. Anything affecting us here? Erebor at war with Isengard, huh? Okay, let's see. Let's go up to the north. How are we looking up this way? Alright, dwarves are still fighting with these guys here. But they're wearing down all those big stacks. Alright, let's get this general over here. To Latash, so we can pull these guys out. And push this army out here. If we can grab up Karn Doom, that'd be nice. Uh, let's move this spy over here a little bit. Just watch those routes. Make sure nothing's coming at us here. And how are we doing over here? Are they sending any forces over this way? No, dwarves still own all that stuff over there. Approaching quietly. Right, we can leave those guys there, I guess. Let's bring him back over here a little bit. Yeah, I want to watch the bark a leg. Alright, let's keep all these troops moving. They're going to come back and get a bunch of training done. Those guys can stay up there. And let's keep these forces coming down south. Right, nothing else to move over there. Elven warriors. And all these guys are getting down here, and these guys... Oh, damn, that scared me. It's a cause of doom stack here. Yeah, they can go through my territory. All right, let's get all these guys down here. Can we do any training while we're here? Nope. All right, we got space for five more troops. Yeah, we got these guys coming down, too. All right, so that is all my troops from back here. And how long before this upgrade here? One more turn and we start going, start building up towards uh, Blacksmith. Alright, and let's get our spies out this way. Let's go check this place out here. Yeah, there's a lot of Isengard forces running around out here. Ooh, look at this big stack coming in too. Alright, anything getting ready to hit us? There's a small force just outside here. I guess we can kill them off. Let's run down here and see if there's anything coming up from this direction. Nope. Looks all quiet so far. Alright, let's go ahead and kill these guys. And he's gonna run off. Alright, let's go get him. Alright, what do we got here? Some Reavers and some Raiders. Let's take a look at these guys. Above average attack, average charge, and... Yeah, a little average armor. And these Reavers, nice attack, above average charge, and... A little less than average armor, although the armor piercing bonuses in snow. All right, let's fight. Send them back to their underworld. Start deployment. All right, let's just go ahead and go into them here. We can probably shoot these guys up with our archers. Let's see where is he going to go. Up to the high ground. All right, let's grab all the infantry. Let's get up this way. And all the missile weapons minus the cav. Let's get up there behind him. And finally all the cav. Let's get up here and see if we can harass these guys. You guys run for it. We'll probably shoot those reavers up. Yeah, let's get you guys over here. Shoot him up. All right, you guys sit back here. Let's wait for the army to get in position. Shoot him up. We will defend the Elven lands. Watch for the enemy. Yeah, unfortunately, this is a lower tier army here. Oh, they're gonna come into us. It looks like. What the hell are you guys waiting on? Let's go. Alright, keep shooting them up. Alright, let's get in behind them with this calf here. Ready your bows. We will defend the Elven lands. Be quick. Let's go, man. Run. This is the way. Alright, these guys can start turning in. Alright, 
gonna send some cab in. The enemy force remains. And they just broke. And they just broke. All right, let's get that cab out of there. All right, you guys come back here. Let's shoot them up. All right, let's get all the cab back here. Let the archers shoot them up a little bit. There we go. Let's run him over. Runs. It's time to press the attack. This is a clear victory. All right, nice. Only lost nine for over 800. That'll work. Execute. All right, I'm gonna come back here and continue upgrading my forces. We're gonna need all the upgrades we can get with these forces out here. Let's get right back in there. All right, what do we need to build here next? To yeah, let's get these guys done. Um. Definitely gonna need an art gallery. Yeah, Tulare Barracks isn't gonna help us until we get that up to 33%. Let's get that art gallery next. All right, maybe I Come should build some. Brothers. Yeah, let's build some towers out this way too. Let's get one down here first. That is. Drop one right in there. We will need that and one. He can go back. Stay alert. My lord. And this spy can come back up here. I shall continue tomorrow. All right, let's come back over here and my ships. ships ready. We're done blockading them for the moment. Yeah, let's send these guys back up this way. Set sail. We can go All right, no back over here. I moved this spy already, I think, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, let's wait for the last of these troops to come down here. Elven warriors. And I'm going to build this army up and head out. We definitely need those ballistas too. All right, I'm not going to spend any more money. We definitely got to save it up. Elves. These guys are coming down to get some training, and Your order. yes, my lord. Make sure we moved all these guys here. Yeah, he's going to stay there. He can stay there. My lord. He moved. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. Karn Doom's under siege. Yep, looks like dwarves are finally hitting it again. Hitting into it, just over 1,700 in the coffers. Oh, we got two comings of age. Nibin Carden, where is he at? He's up at Mithland. Oh, it looks like both these guys are up here. Elves. All right, we got this guy here. Erutelshian. Erutulshian, I think is how you say it. <laughs> kinds of crazy ass names. All right, uh, these generals are not that good, it looks like. I guess we're just going to use them as governors. Let's send this one up here. You can manage Osgallon. I think I have governors everywhere. Oh, I don't have one down here. I guess I can put him down there. Come, my brother. All right, Elro here Come, can stay there. Uh, let's see. I was moving these guys off the boats. Let's get these guys in my here Lord. first, and then these guys can get on the boats. Let's offload them over here, and let's send him. Out here to manage here, this place. And the boats can go back into port. Alright, how are we looking here? Austin Edel upgraded. Okay, good. And Angmar and the Woodland Realm. Alright, let's for, go over to uh, Austin Edel first. Let's start getting the leather worker so we can get that blacksmith going next here. Alright, oh, and the these guys are coming down here. Onward. Conceal our Alright, anything back here we need to be concerned about. Elves. These guys are all coming back here to do some training. Alright, let's get this general over here to Latash. Can I pull Glorfindel out of there now? Yes. Alright, these guys are okay. Now the next thing is... They got that place under siege. Hmm, they might get it that time. Let's get a little closer here. Approaching... Yeah, they're probably going to get it. There's hardly anything in there. Which means all these troops are going to go rebel. But once that place goes down, I'm going to bring all these troops back south, too. 
Let's leave that spy right there. Keep an eye on things. Let's get Glorfindel up here in this army now. Alright. What do we need to build back up here? Uh, Latash. And we don't have enough money for anything. Alright. Yep, I'm going to have to start saving up again because we are eating the hell out of it. Alright, nothing else to move over here. And I'm still waiting on those guys to link up with us over here. Alright, let's keep moving this way. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's take a look up at this place. Karis. Ooh, he's got a big full stack coming down this way. What I could possibly do, I could nuke this place too and just go scorched earth through all here. And just start ripping everything apart and maybe I'll, and I'll set it to where they have a high chance of going rebel. So Isengard will have to fight to get him back. Come, my brothers. All right, let's grab our spy. Let's bring him back up here. Approaching. Quietly. Probably build another tower up Tomorrow's that way somewhere. Elves. Yeah. Let's come back up here with him. Onward. All right. Hmm. I wonder if I can move this whole army out without them guys going crazy on me. Let's grab everybody except a set of pikes. They're right at 70%. Hmm. My lord. Now let's wait. Let's see what's going on here. Um Let's actually leave these guys here until let's build this place up a little bit because I'm kind of concerned that there's probably multiple full stacks coming down this way. And you know what? Maybe. Let's grab our Ships boat here in case we got to make a quick getaway. Yes, I want to have the boats Four ready. Sail. Let's get into port here so we can jump on the boat Find and get the hell out of here. Alright, Diplomat's Lord. hanging out. Lord. He's moving. He is going to stay there for now. He's going to stay there and... My Lord. Yeah, he's staying there. My Lord. He is going to stay there My and Lord. he moved... Yeah, we should be good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. Okay, guys, I got some bad news. I'm going to go ahead and end this campaign. I've been coming across a lot of weird uh, crashes and stuff like that. And, you know, what? I'm not going to complain about it too much because this, this is version 4 with a bunch of hot fixes and stuff like that. I know version 4.5 is out, and there's also a hot fix for it. So this will give me an excuse to go ahead and upgrade to a newer version, and we're going to end this campaign. We're doing pretty damn well here anyways. Uh, yeah, these guys were probably going to fall for sure, so that was going to be the end of Angmar. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and toggle the fog of war here. Let's take a look at everything. Yeah, these guys were definitely done. Wow, look at Isengard, man. They own a lot of this territory. Look at all the full stacks he was bringing down toward Balorn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Isengard was superpower in this campaign. They own all of Rohan territory. And they're moving in on the elves up here it looks like. Wow. They were doing really well. And looks like the elves are doing okay. And it looks like Anduin was taking a pounding though. They're trying to hold their own but they're not too bad I guess. Dell's looking pretty well. They have own a lot of territory over here by Rune. Hmm. Yeah, they're actually moving in on Mistrand. Even Dorwinian's looking good. Wow. They own a lot of territory over here. And let's see, how's Mordor? Uh, Mordor. They just own Minas Tirith, and that's pretty much it. And Khand and Harad and all... I think all these guys are down here fighting each other. Yeah, Harad was fighting with uh, Haradnaim. Yeah. Yeah, Bree was holding their own too against uh, Dunland, and or Anidwith, I should say. But Dunland, I probably could have crushed them too if I would have went into Dunland first instead of going into Isengard. That probably would have been the better move, I think. Now that I see how much territory they own, which is not very much. But as soon as I hit uh, Dunland, I'm sure I would have been in a serious fight with Isengard, because they are super powerful. All right, yeah. If it wasn't for these uh, these crazy uh, crashes, I'd just keep this campaign going. But like I said, 
I'd rather just go ahead and upgrade to version 4.5 and be done with it and start a better campaign. All right, I uh, hope you guys had fun watching this. I had a lot of fun playing this. And if you guys got a recommendation as to what kind of faction you want me to play next, I've had somebody request that I play uh, the Woodland Realm. I've never played these guys before. That might be an interesting little playthrough right there. And uh, other than that, uh, please comment, please like, please subscribe, please share. All that stuff helps me out. This is a travesty signing off.